limit test LIM instruction. Use the LIM instruction to test for a value within or outside a specified range, depending on how you set the limits. Entering parameters. The low limit test and high limits value can be a world addresses or constants restricted to the following combination. If the test parameter is a program constant, both the low limits and high limits parameter must be a world addresses. If the test parameter is a world address, the low limits and high limits parameter can either be a program constant or a world address. Mask comparison for equal MEQ instruction. Use the MEQ instruction to compare data at a source address with the data at compare address. Use of this instruction allows portion of the data to be masked by a separate world. Entering parameters. Source is the address of the value you want to compare. Mask is the address of the mask through which the instruction moves data. The mask can also be a hexadecimal value, a constant. Compare is an integer value or the address of the reference. If the 16 bits of data at a source address are equal to the 16 bits of the data at the compare address list mask bit, the instruction is true. The instruction becomes false as soon as it detects a mismatch bits in the mask world mask data when reset. They pass data when set. Equal EQU instruction. Use the EQU instruction to test whether two values are equal. If source A and source B are equal, the instruction is logically true. If these values are not equal, the instruction is logically false. Source A must be an address. Source B can either be a program constant or an address. Negative integer or stores into its complement form. Not equal in EQ instruction. Use the NEQ instruction to test whether two values are not equal. If source A and source B are not equal, the instruction is logically true. If the two values are equal, the instruction is logically false. Source A must be an address. Source B can either be a program constant or an address. Negative integers are stored in two is complement form. less than LES instruction. Use the LES instruction to test whether one value source A is less than another value source B. If source A is less than the value at source B, the instruction is logically true. If the value at source A is greater than or equal to the value at source B, the instruction is logically false. Source A must be an address. Source B can either be a program constant or an address. Negative integers are stored into its complement form. Greater than GRT instruction. Use the GRT instruction to test whether one value source A is greater than another value source B. If the value at source A is greater than the value at source B, the instruction is logically true. If the value at source A is less than or equal to the value at source B, 
the instruction is logically false. Source A must be an address. Source B can either be a program constant or an address. Negative integers are stored in to its complement form. Listen or equal LEQ instruction. Use the LEQ instruction to test whether one value source A is less than or equal to another source B. If the value source A is less than or equal to the value at source B, the instruction is logically true. If the value at source A is greater than the value at source B, the instruction is logically false. Source A must be an address. Source B can either be a program constant or an address. Negative integers are stored in to its complement form. Greater than or equal GEQ instruction. Use the GEQ instruction to test whether one value source A is greater than or equal to another source B. If the value at source A is greater than or equal to the value at source B, the instruction is logically true. If the value at source A is less than the value at source B, the instruction is logically false. Source A must be an address. Source B can either be a program constant or an address. Negative integers are stored in two is complement form.